I kind of expect this first video is going to be terrible. I mean, I hope it's not terrible, but I expect it might be. Oh, this is going to be hard to talk and do. Girl, get it together from the top. Hello, beautiful people. How are you? My name is Annie and this is my first YouTube video. First ever. I've been saying for a while I was going to create a channel and here I am. I'm finally doing it. I created this channel because I wanted to be able to show you guys at home how I achieve my makeup looks. Everything from basic everyday wear to nighttime looks and anything in between that you guys would want to see. This is the look I'm doing for today. It is a very beautiful, very simple look that would look great on just about anybody. I also believe that this is the part that I'm supposed to tell you to like and subscribe. Ring that notification bell. If you want to see how I achieve this look, stick around because we are starting right now. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to prime my face. For my primer, I'm going in with the Elemis Superfood Glow Prime Moisturizer. It's always important to start off with a clean face. You always want to wash your face before you do your makeup because it's just like an artist painting on a canvas. You know, this is your canvas. If you're going to paint a picture, do you want your canvas to have smudges and dirt on it? No, you don't. Priming is also important because you want to have some sort of a base for your makeup to stick to. I also like to prime my lips. This is the Hemp's Pure Herbal Extract for lips. And I find that my lips are always dry and cracked. I'm now gonna prime my eyes. I am using the e.l.f. 16 Hour Camo Concealer and this is in the shade Medium Peach. I'm going to go in with the MAC 249 brush and it's just a small concealer brush. You really don't need a lot. A little bit will go a long way. And you want to put it all over the lid and you want to work it all the way up to your eyebrow. So now that my face is completely primed and ready to go, I'm going to start with my eyeshadows. The first shade I'm going to go in with is a MAC shade. It is Bamboo. And it's just kind of a nice little flesh tone color. This is going to be my transition shade. And I'm going to go in with the Luxie 205 Pack and Shade Brush. It is just a basic dome brush. And I'm going to start on the outside and work my way in, getting it all in the crease. And I'm just going to go back and forth in windshield wiper motions. And then I can kind of do circles to buff it out. So I guess for my first video, I'll give you a little bit of information about me. I am not a makeup artist. I am not a cosmetologist by any means. I don't claim to be. I am a nurse by trade. So I work here in New Jersey as a registered nurse. Makeup has always kind of been a passion of mine. Ever since I was a little kid, I used to play with makeup. I'd play with my mom's makeup. I learned everything I know as far as my technique from here on YouTube. And I have been saying for forever that I was going to start a YouTube channel of my own. I don't know. I guess I was just always too scared to do it. So here I am. I'm going to use a Makeup Geek color. This is Shimma Shimma. And I'm going to use a flat shader brush. And this came from the Urban Decay's Naked 2 palette. I'm going to go ahead and start packing this color on right on the inner lid and work my way out. And you want to start low. Just pack it on. I'm doing like a padding motion as opposed to like a swiping motion. And I'm just slowly building on the lid area all the way up to that crease. I am going to go in with my crease color. I'm going to take the MAC 217 brush and I'm taking another Makeup Geek shade. This is Barcelona Beach. Same thing as I did with my transition. I'm going to start in my outer corner area and slightly work it around that crease windshield wiper motion and I'd like to in the outer corner area kind of give it a little circular motion and you're just going to go back and forth and really just blend that color out. You want to take your time and just blend and blend and blend. You want to start light and kind of build. You don't want to pack on 
too much color at once. You know, that golden rule, you can always add more, you can't take away. And I'm gonna take a very fluffy dome brush that I'm gonna kinda use to just blend everything out. You can keep it with no product on it, or you can even pick up a little bit of that bamboo, that transition shade, and I'm just gonna buff it all out. I wanna blend out any harsh lines. Now, working with that crease color, I feel like I took away from a lot of my lid shades, so I am gonna go back over with that shimmer shimmer just take a little bit on my brush and I'm gonna start at the lash line and just start packing it on again and I'm gonna take that MAC 217 brush that we used for this crease color the Barcelona Beach with no additional product and just blend it very lightly just kind of blend out so there's a good transition between that shimmer shade to your crease shade i'm gonna start putting some eyeliner on i'm using a gel liner pen and this is ill maquillage and it's just a fine tip pen i pull my eyelids hot you really shouldn't do that i know i'm predisposing myself to premature wrinkles and what I do, I turn to the side. So I actually like, rather than go straight on with the tip, I turn to the side and I just lightly feather it, starting at the inner corner, working my way out. And then how I do my wing, I start right where your lower lid is and I go like a line. You're kind of carrying that lower lid up and then connect it. As you can see, I start light, but I darken it once I kind of have the outline that I want. And then you want to go ahead and smooth it out. This is really hard to talk and do eyeliner at the same time. I feel like this wing is a lot more dramatic than what I wanted to go for, but we're going to roll with it. I'm going to start working on my face and doing my foundation. I'm going to be using the Yenza Color and Face Skin on Skin BC Foundation. This is a BB and CC full coverage foundation. And I'm going to be using the IT Cosmetics Flat Top Kabuki Brush. And what I do is I kind of pat it through my T-zone. And you want to start in a very sheer layer and build. And then start to buff in a circular motion. And you want to blend into your ears and make sure that you blend through your jawline and down your neck. Because once you're all said and done, you don't want to look like you're wearing a mask. There ain't nothing cute about that. You want to try to make it look as natural as possible. Build to your desired coverage. If you're looking for more of a lightweight or a sheer coverage, you obviously want to choose a sheer coverage foundation as opposed to a full coverage foundation. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start with my concealer. I am using the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser and this is in the shade 110 Fair. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start kind of in the outer corner and I'm going to work my way down to the tip of my nose, go up like a V and fill all that in. I'm going to do the same on the other side. Again, I'm going to start in the outer corner down towards the outer corner of my nose and up like a V. And then I'm going to go my forehead, one line up. And then I'm bringing it down to the tip of my nose and I do a little on the cupid's bow and on the chin. And then I'm going to take a small little beauty blender and I'm just going to start patting it on. I'm not going to swipe. I'm just going to press it into the skin. And what this is doing is it's going to pick up all the excess concealer. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the same in my forehead. And then down my nose, and on the cupid's bow, and my chin. And once the concealer is on, you're going to want to set your concealer. I'm going to use the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder, and this is in the shade 10 Fair Light. This is a Jaff brush. It's not labeled, it's not numbered. I actually got a whole set of these brushes on Amazon. I'll link them in the description box. They're fairly cheap, but they're great brushes. I mean, I think it was like a set of 20 brushes that I got for like $35, but they're not listed. They just came together in this set and every single one of them, regardless if they're for the face, the eyes, they just say Jaff on it, J-A-F. So. If you hear me say that I'm using a Jaff brush, that's just because it came from this set. So everywhere you put the concealer is where you're going to set. 
I am going to put a highlight under my brow bone. So I'm using MAC Shroom. And it's just a little shimmery highlight color. And I'm going in with the e.l.f. Professional Blending Eye Brush. And I am going to put this right under the arch of the brow. And I just kind of feather it outward. And once I packed most of the product on the outside of the eye, I'm going to start working it back inwards. And I'm also going to pop it in my outer, or excuse me, my inner corner. I'm going to pop it here and highlight my inner corners just to give your eyes an extra little pop. And then I'm going to take that fluffy dome brush that I used to blend with and I'm just going to get rid of any harsh lines, make sure it's all blended nicely. And then I am going to take a flat little smudge brush and this is the MAC 214 and I'm going to use that Barcelona Beach which was that crease shade and pick up a little bit with that flat shader brush and I'm just going to start here in the outer corner and I'm going to work it all on my lower lash line. And you just want to buff it out. I'm going to go ahead now and I'm going to line my waterline. Because I have a habit of touching my face and pulling my eyelid taut, I have developed this little trick where now that my makeup is on my face, I don't want to touch my face and smudge it. So I actually use the cap of the eyeliner. So I will pull my lid down a little bit with that cap and I'm just gonna go ahead and line my waterline. The bronzer I'm going to be using is the Benefit Hula Bronzer. And I'm gonna take the little brush that it comes with. I like the shape of this brush. If you don't have natural cheekbones, you can always use a brush as a guide. So you're gonna start with the tip of your ear and you're gonna to go to the corner of your mouth and this is the line that you're gonna follow. So again, tip of the ear and you're gonna to start to work it towards your lips. You don't wanna go all the way, like this is far enough. So about halfway and you're gonna brush. Again, corner of your ear and you're gonna work your way about halfway towards your mouth. And then you're gonna do around your hairline. So I'm gonna pat around the hairline up here and then I'm just gonna kinda buff, just like that windshield wiper motion like you do in your eyes. And then I'm gonna do my jawline. So you're gonna just follow your natural jawline and you're just gonna work towards your chin. I don't go all the way around. I'll pick up a little more product and I'll just do the same on the other side. The only other place that I contour is my nose. Inner corner of the eyebrow and you just wanna brush it downwards. And then I'm gonna be taking this contoured brush here. Again, it's a Jaff brush. I will link them in the description below. And I'm just gonna now use this to kind of blend and buff those contour lines. You can do your jawline, buff out the forehead, and then the sides of the nose. Now I'm going to go in with blush. I'm going to be using the Pacifica Desert Sunset, and I'm using the e.l.f. Blush Brush. You want to start on the apples of your cheeks, and you're going to kind of follow along where you put your contour, but like slightly above it. Once I have my blush on, I'm going to go ahead and put on my highlighter. I'm going to be using the Mary Luminizer by The Balm. This is highly, highly pigmented, so you really don't want to use much. I'm using this Slimmest Glam Round Brush P40. I'm just going to put right on the tops of my cheekbones. So right above where you have your blush. And then I'm gonna go right above my arch of my brow and highlight this area. And then I go right down the center of my nose and my cupid's bow and right on the chin. I am now gonna go in with my mascara. I am gonna be using the Trustique Good Vibes Mascara. And it also comes with a eyelash curler, which I think is absolutely amazing. So the way it works, it comes with an instruction manual flip down to curl so you pull this down and you just put right on your eyelashes downside to this is that because of the size of it it's not 
as thick as a typical eyelash curler would be. So you kind of have to like curl your lashes in stages. Now that I've curled my lashes, you can just put the cap back on and then the mascara wand twists off. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna lightly coat my lashes. And then I do my lower lashes as well. I'm debating on if I wanna put false lashes on. I'm gonna just go ahead and do my brows while I ponder it. So for my brows, I am using the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. And it's in the shade 3.5. I start on the bottom and I just feather. And then I will start at the arch of my brow and I line the top, make sure it comes out to a point, and then I kind of fill them in. Honestly, I don't have good brow game. And you wanna stay lighter handed the further inward you go. So by the time I get to the inner part of my brow, I'm, I'm barely touching. I'm just creating little flicking motions. I decided I am gonna go ahead and put lashes on and fix my hair, and I will be right back. Okay, so off camera, I did put on lashes. I used the Ardell Demi Wispy Lashes in Black. For my lip liner, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Color Sensation Shaping Lip Liner in the shade 130 Dusty Rose. I'm gonna start right at that Cupid's bow there, and I'm going to line right above the natural line of my lips, all the way to the corner of my mouth. I like my lips to look a little fuller, so I go right above the natural arch. And then same thing along the bottom. I just start at the corner and I line right below the natural line of the lip. How do people talk and do their lips at the same time? And then with that liner, I will kind of fill it in a little bit. And once I've finished filling in my lips, I'm gonna go ahead and put on lipstick. I am using the Urban Decay's lipstick in the shade Liar. It's a really pretty, kind of a dark nude. It kind of reminds me of that signature Kylie Jenner lipstick. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna spray my face to kind of set everything in. And I'm gonna be using the Urban Decay's All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. So that's it. This is the finished look. It was pretty simple to achieve. You at home can do it. If you like this look and you wanna see more, don't forget to hit subscribe, like, leave me a comment down below. Tell me what you'd want to see. Tell me what you want me to do next. I am here for you every week. I'm going to be uploading every Friday. And thanks for hanging out with me. Hope you liked my first video. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. And I can't wait to see you guys next week. Bye. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Nope. Mmm. 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 Oh, that was cute. You too. No, 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 no. Why do I keep dropping everything?